Hello there, I'm Lloyd Evans. Welcome to The Bunker. It's time for another voicemail. Today's voicemail is from a caller named Stuart. Let's listen to what Stuart has to say. Hi Lloyd, my name is Stuart. I just wanted to say how grateful I am for your channel. You're doing really great work and it's a, definitely a highlight of my morning to listen to your videos. I wanted to get your thoughts on a situation that I'll be in pretty soon. Uh, I believe I'll be forced to either out myself as being gay or try to hide my PIMO status. Uh, this all starts from, because I have a secret worldly boyfriend who will be moving in with me soon. And as I'm really excited for that to happen, I'm sure my parents will throw a fit and will either confront me about being gay or start soft shunning me if I refuse to answer their questions or possibly refuse to talk with the elders about it. And I thought of possibly lying and say that we're just friends and I needed a roommate to help pay the bills, but I also don't want to hide my relationship with my boyfriend anymore. Um, I understand being in a secretive relationship like we are um, for so long isn't fair to him, and I don't want that anymore. So, But I also don't want to lose my family. Um, I'm a fourth generation born in with only a handful of relatives that have either left or been disfellowshipped and not that many friends outside of the cult. So do you have any suggestions on what I or any other PIMO uh, person can do to make this step in our lives to choose the life that we want and start trying to be okay with the thought of losing our families in the process or how we can prepare ourselves to, to come with coping about losing our families. So any thoughts you have on this subject definitely would be appreciated. Um, thanks again and hope you are having a great day. Well, thank you very much for that message. Unfortunately, I think this is a fairly common situation. Certainly, this whole issue of do I choose an authentic life for myself? Do I out myself essentially as an apostate, as a non-believer? Or do I pander to my family? Do I pretend? Do I live a life of pretense to keep my family happy? Is essentially the question... Although I can understand how it would be more complicated in the context of revealing yourself to be gay and being in a homosexual relationship, I can understand why that would add another layer of complexity to the whole situation. And I don't envy your situation. I think you pretty much know what needs to happen or at least that's what I'm picking up here. You acknowledge that it's unfair on your boyfriend to expect your boyfriend to keep himself a secret. I mean, what's he supposed to do? Hide behind the sofa? I mean, <laughs> when you're an adult and you're in an adult relationship, it's simply not healthy to expect your partner to live a lie, live a pretense to satisfy a previous generation of your family. It's just, it's just not how things work in the real world. And so I think you know this. I think you realize that ultimately the way forward is to live your life authentically. You're just wondering, or maybe you just need validation that that's the right thing to do. Well, I'm here to give it. Uh, ultimately, this cult has forced you into a situation where you need to choose one or the other. And it sucks. It really does. It's not how things should work. It's not how things should be. But that's what makes this cult so evil, is that it does this to families. And it puts people in this situation time after time after time. All I would say is, and this is something I've said repeatedly on this channel is that there's a difference between your relatives and your family, at least as far as I'm concerned. Your relatives are people who are related to you. <laughs> and in this case, obviously, your parents are related to you. 
But for me, the word family has or should have greater meaning. Your family should be those who love you for who you are and care about you and your needs and don't extend love on a conditional basis and don't expect you to conform to their expectations in order for them to be giving you love and acceptance. So try if you can to, and I know it's difficult, it takes time, but try if you can to just emotionally separate yourself from this need for validation or from any kind of emotional dependency on your parents if they're not willing to accept you for who you are. I think it's fair for you to set reasonable boundaries. It's fair for you to say, look, this is who I am. I understand this will be a disappointment for you. I know how seriously you take your religious views. I no longer share those views. And you are free to live your lives the way you choose. I'm free to live my life the way I choose. If you ever want a relationship, I'm here for you. But if there's going to be any juvenile treatment, if there's going to be any toxic behavior involving shunning or involving treating my boyfriend as though he doesn't exist, I'd rather not expose myself to that sort of behavior. So these are conversations that are awkward, but necessary. Um, I noticed this message was actually uh, left a few weeks ago, so it's quite possible that this situation has already resolved itself. I'm a bit behind <laughs> with my voicemails due to convention season. But yes, at the very least, hopefully you've received some validation. I think you know what the way forward is. And the good news is that you're not alone. Many people have trodden this path. Many people have been through and navigated this situation or a situation very similar and found that on the other side of all of this trauma and stress and awkwardness, the peace and contentment and satisfaction that comes with being able to live authentically and be true to yourself and build a family who loves and appreciates you for who you are is infinitely worth it. So I hope this has answered your question or, or has at least given you some form of advice. If you would like to leave a voicemail, the thing to do is visit speakpipe.com forward slash cedars, remembering to indicate clearly if you don't want me to broadcast your message on my channel. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lloyd Evans channel for more such videos. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>